Hey John, I was thinking, maybe we can go out to dinner tonight, and then we can come home, and we can make a little love. How does that sound? No can do, Julie. Me, Potty Mouth, and Jorgon are going out to play pool tonight. But John, it's been so long since the last time we had a night to ourselves. Julie, I promise you tomorrow we'll have a night to ourselves. Okay, John. I'll make you feel like a princess. John, I'm really excited about tonight. We haven't gone out to the two of us in a really long time. What's tonight? Our special night together. I didn't plan no special night. Yes, you did, John. You said you didn't make me feel like a princess. I never said that. John, you promised. I didn't promise anything. Fine, then can we go somewhere tonight, then? Sure, at 12, go to the House of Chocolate Cafe, and I'll meet you there at 1. Where are you going? Your father's taking me out to lunch. Where's he taking you? The House of Chocolate Cafe. He's meeting me there at 1. Why aren't you guys going in the same car? I don't know. I think your father's planning something really special. Okay, John, I'm leaving now. You're gonna meet me there in an hour? Yep, I'll meet you there in an hour. Finally, Julie's gone. Now I can take a nap. Hey, Dad, you're taking Mom out to lunch? Nah, I just said that to her so I can have time to myself. Where is John? It's already going on three. Y'all been sitting here all by yourself for two hours. You want me to buy you something? That's very kind of you, but no thank you. I bet y'all had a date who didn't show up. That ain't manly at all. My husband always does stuff like this. He promises me we can go out somewhere, then he ditches me. Well, this husband of yours seems like he's no good for you. What you need is a real man. A beautiful woman like you shouldn't feel like that. Oh, thank you. My name's Julie. My name's Jeremy. Nice to meet you, Jeremy. This beats hanging out with my wife any day of the week, getting drunk with my buddies. Amen to that! John, Julie's gonna kill you for that. Yeah, but I need to have guy time. I can't always be with my wife. You're never with your wife! Yeah, John, what was the last time you actually spent time with her? When I was telling her I was going to spend time with you guys. John, I think you got to spend more time with your wife before you lose her. Yeah, I ain't never going to lose her. Well, this is my home. This is a nice place you got here, Julie. Thank you. Well, I'm going to get changed up. You can stay down here if you want. You're so tall and muscular and manly. And you're such a good looking woman. Jeremy, you are amazing. Are you sure, Julie? That was my first time. That was the most amazing sex I've ever had in a long time. There's my big strong man. I missed you so much. Julie, I have the biggest headache in the world. Oh, my poor baby. Would McBurgers make you feel better? Yeah. How about you go sit down and I'll pick it up for you, okay? Okay. Hello, Julie. Hey, Dorgon. You think you can pick me up an everything burger from McBurgers? How'd you know I was going to McBurgers? I heard you and John talking. Oh, well, I'll be at McBurgers if you need me. Not so fast, Julie. Something fishy's going on. What do you mean? You're being awfully nice to John considering he ditched you on your date and went out drinking with me in potty mouth. That's not like you at all. Normally, you would have flipped, not bought a McBurgers. Jesus Christ, Dorgon, can't I be nice to my husband without being questioned? I suppose, but I got my eye on you. Hey, Julie, you look upset. I don't feel good. What's the matter? I went to the store last night while you were sleeping and bought 15 bags of marshmallows. I ate all the bags and now I'm sick. Why the hell'd you do that? I have no idea. I just really, really wanted marshmallows. That's weird. Well, I'm gonna go upstairs and take a nap. Hello, Julie. I got a few questions for you. Dorgon, I'm not in the mood. Julie, it's my job as a detective to stalk you and ask you questions. 
You're acting very suspicious. First you're awfully nice to John, now you've gone out and bought 15 bags of marshmallows. Julie, I will not rest until I find out what's going on. Now I'm going to go take a nap, then continue my investigation. Stupid Dorgon. So you say you haven't been feeling good, Julie. Can you explain that? Well, I've been very moody lately. I've been having headaches. I've been getting sick and I gained a little weight. What do you think that means, Dr. Andriotis? Julie, those are usually the signs of pregnancy. I'm not pregnant. Every time I have gotten pregnant, I always crave marshmallows. Oh my god, I might be pregnant! This can't be happening anything but that. Anything but that. John's gonna leave me. No, 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 no. Please, God, no. I'll give you to the count of three to take that stupid Sherlock Holmes outfit off. I'm not gonna rest until I find out why you're acting so suspicious. I'm freaking pregnant! You happy now? Shit, Dorian, you can't mind your own business for once in your life instead of trying to ruin everybody else's. No. You think this is a joke? Yeah, kinda. Well, Mr. Jokester, I got a joke for you. When the baby comes, he's gonna sleep in your room and you're gonna be kicked out of the house. You're gonna make your baby sleep in a sandbox? What baby? Julie's pregnant. Dorgon, what the hell? Julie, please tell me Dorgon's bullshitting me. Please tell me you're not pregnant. I'm sorry, John, but I'm pregnant. Julie, I thought this over and I came to the conclusion. I can't wait for you to have a baby. Hmm. What's your matter? You seem pretty upset about having a baby. John, there's something I gotta tell you. Wait a minute, hold that thought. I just want to let you know, Julie, that you're the best wife in the world. After everything I put you through, you should have left me by now. But you didn't, and I love you for that. I'm just glad you're not one of those types of people that cheat on their husband instead of trying to work things out. Thanks for everything, Julie. I love you. Oh, I love you too, John. Now what were you going to say? Um, I don't remember. Come in! Hey, Julie, what are you doing here? I came here to ask you something. Make it quick. Ah! No, Potty Mouth, that's not what I was going to ask you. What I was going to ask you is, say I had this friend, and she's pregnant, but the baby's father is not her husband. What does she do? That friend is you, isn't it? How did you know? And please, whatever you do, do not tell John. It's obvious that you're pregnant, and I won't tell John, but I think I'll find out eventually once the baby's born. The only choice I have is telling John that the baby's his. Did you do it for Black Eye? Yeah. Then you're screwed. I'm gonna go back to the House Chocolate Cafe to see if he's there. He told me he goes there a lot. Hey, good looking. How you been? Take a look at me and take a guess. Please tell me that's not my child. It is your child. Does your husband know? No, not yet. How are you planning to tell him? I have no idea. I just hope he doesn't leave me. If he truly loved you, Julie, he wouldn't leave you. I sure hope not. Everything will be okay, Julie. What do you think I should do? Can you give me some advice? I think you should make your man as happy as possible for the next seven months. That way, when he finds out that it's not his kid, he'll be less upset. Maybe I will do that. I think I died and went to heaven. This is like the sixth time today I had McBurgers. Well, I gotta take care of my man. Can I make burgers again for dinner? Well, of course you can, my sweet angel. Then I'll take you out for ice cream for dessert. Yay. Hershey Park is only ten minutes away. Do you want to go there tomorrow? Julie, why are you being so nice to me? Because, John, I love you. I love you too, Julie. And yeah, I'll go to Hershey Park. It can't be just me and you. Dorgon can babysit the kids. Remember the last time Dorgon babysat? So what, five ambulances, three cops, ten firemen, eight FBI agencies, and Ghostbusters showed up to the house? He's still a good babysitter. Me and Dorgon are not exactly on good speaking terms right now. He's been stalking me. Then let's hire Potty Mouth. How come I never get a seat on the couch? That's pretty much self-explanatory. Hey kids, I've been hired to babysit you. Aren't we a little old for a babysitter? He's better than Dorgon. 
I heard that. Bye guys. Bye guys. Okay, now if they're gone, I can tell you what's really going on. What do you mean? You gotta promise you won't tell anybody. We won't. Especially not Dorgon. Just tell us. Your mother's pregnant. Yeah, we kind of figured that. With another man. That's all I needed to hear. Well, Dorgon knows now. Now what are we gonna do? <coughs> Got enough air in there, Dorgon? <coughs> no, cause you're gonna snitch to dad. <coughs> we'll let you out in seven months. <laughs> nope, not even Batman can save you. I can't wait to have a baby again. I'm gonna spoil him rotten. How can you never spoil us rotten? What are you talking about? I bought you a yo-yo. No, you took Eric's yo-yo and gave it to me. I never got a yo-yo. Jesus Christ, how long does it take to pop out a baby? I've been sitting here for nine hours. John, your wife requested that you don't see the baby. Why, was she born? Yeah, but your wife requested that you don't- I don't care what my wife requested, I want to see my son. So nobody could have told me your mother cheated on me? After everything I done for you guys? Dad, we were trying to keep you from getting hurt. Yeah, but now I feel lied to. I'm sorry, Dad. How many people know? Our whole family, Dorgon and Potty Mouth. Dorgon and Potty Mouth know too? Yeah, everybody knows. Well, when your mother comes home, I have a few choice words for her. Jordan, it means a lot to me that you're gonna tell me what's going on. Nobody else in the house would. They're so afraid about hurting my feelings. They should've just told me the truth in the first place. I know, John, but what are you gonna do? Me and you, Jordan, are gonna move out of the house. Where are we gonna stay? I have no clue. We'll find somewhere. Well, Julie, I guess this is it. John, please don't go. You don't know how sorry I am. I'm sorry, Julie, but I'm not changing my mind. I love you, John. I'll love you forever. And I'll love you forever, too, Julie. But I gotta go. I'm gonna miss you, John. I'm gonna miss the laughter we shared, the tears we cried, walking long walks on the beach, gazing up at the stars while making love, and then waking up in your arms and...